Hello budding dentist, this is Panadoc here. In this video, we will be discussing about prenatal growth of maxilla. At the fourth week of intrauterine life, a prominent bulge forms on the ventral aspect of the embryo corresponding to the developing brain. This prominent bulge is called as frontonasal process. Underneath the frontonasal process, a shallow depression is seen which corresponds to the primitive mouth. This is called as stomodium. It consists of oral grooves, naturally processed and mandibular arch. The floor of the stomodium gets thickening, giving rise to buccopharyngeal or oropharyngeal membrane, which separates the head and neck from the forehead. By around the fourth week of intrauterine life, five brachial arches arise and gives rise to skeletal, muscle, connective tissue and neural component of the future face. The first brachial arch is called as the mandibular arch and plays an important role in the development of the nasomaxillary region. In stage 1, the upper part of the stomodium is covered by the frontonasal process and both sides it is covered by the mandibular arch. There is a developing bud at the dorsal aspect of the mandibular arch which is nothing but the maxillary process. In stage 2, the stomodium is overlapped superiorly by the frontonasal process, laterally by the maxillary arch and underneath mandibular arch. There is a bilateral localized thickening of the frontonasal process which gives rise to nasal flutters, which in turn gets thickened and forms nasal pits. These nasal bits give rise to horseshoe shaped elevation, which has medial aspect and lateral aspect, which is nothing but the medial nasal process and lateral nasal process. As the maxillary process grows, frontal nasal process becomes narrower. The nasal bits come closer. The fusion of medial nasal process and maxilla gives rise to nasolacrimal duct.